shrinkage of textile and apparel products has always had a profound effect on design and production planning in all areas of textile and apparel manufacturing. In today's competitive markets, where high quality is expected at a low price, apparel companies are demanding products from their suppliers with low levels of shrinkage. In addition to low overall levels of shrinkage, the shrinkage levels from garment to garment must be consistent within a specific garment style. Traditionally, apparel manufacturers have set rigid specifications for their suppliers. In many cases, these stringent specifications allow little room for errors in processing. In fact, some shrinkage specifications for apparel products may not be attainable at all by the suppliers of that product. Many new testing methods have been devised to measure and document shrinkage values. This data is often used by apparel manufacturers to determine whether fabric is accepted or rejected. Penalties may be assessed to the supplier for excessive shrinkage. Careful analysis of the shrinkage data enables a better understanding of the causes of inconsistent or high shrinkage. This knowledge can then impact production techniques to make the shrinkage phenomenon manageable. As a result, more realistic specifications for fabric and garment shrinkage can be established. Accurate shrinkage data can also impact other product specifications such as weight and width, as well as the determination of garment pattern layouts. Even with this knowledge, often overlooked is how overly strict shrinkage specifications can limit a mill's ability to manufacture goods that yield acceptable shrinkage characteristics on a consistent basis. Therefore, in order to be successful in controlling shrinkage, there must be an understanding by all parties involved who bring a product to market as to what makes a fabric or garment shrink.